Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to find slash create a Roku pin. I did a video on how to add YouTube to your Roku device, and I've been getting a lot of questions saying it's asking for a pin, and they don't know what the pin is, so I decided I write an article and do a video on how to find that slash create it um, on your Roku device. So you can actually get a pin number and then one maybe you'll remember. And <laughs> that's what I want to show you here in the video. But before we get going, hit the like button on this video. It really helps out our channel. Also hit the subscribe and the notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any new how-to videos that come out. Okay, so let's get into this. So how do we find that or create a Roku pin? First thing you want to do is go to your computer and go to roku.com. So we're going to do that. I have mine open already. We're going to get out of that screen first. Okay, so first things first. We're on Roku's front page. I want to make sure I'm there. There. Now, if you're not signed in, just go up to the top right and click sign in. Pretty simple. Put your information in. Mine's already saved. And I have to hit I'm not a robot. I don't know why they asked that, but I'm not a robot. I think a robot could pull that off. So hit sign in. So once you click the sign in button, you'll end up on your account page. So it's my account page is where you want to be. If you're already signed in, and you need to get to the my account page all you have to do is go to the top right where your your profile images and put your mouse on top of that and the drop down menu will have my account and then you just click on that to get back to this screen is where you want to go so now we're on the right screen in the middle you'll see pin preferences that's where we want to go you want to click on update very simple hop in here okay so this is where all all the magic happens so this they do not show your pin number. I found that out. I set a pin number up. Obviously I removed it, but I set a pin number up and I thought I could go back in and see the pin again. You do not. So basically finding the pin really doesn't happen. You have to actually have to create a pin. So basically if you forgot your pin, you're going to have to come in here and create it. So that's kind of tricky, but I want to make sure it was in the tile. So you knew it was about finding it, but you're going to have to create it. So here you can choose your pin preferences, setting a personal identification number, which is your pin and preferences allows you to control when channels can be added and when purchases can be made using your Roku device, which is important. Um, and also um, the parental controls we'll go over at the bottom. Uh, you'll use the pin device. Basically, we'll go over that in a minute, but that's basically what this is for. So you have choices, making purchases and adding content. Um, you can choose always require a pin to make purchases and add items from the channel store. That's basically what I'll choose. Always require a pin to make purchases. So if you pick this one, most likely it's not going to ask you for a pin when you're adding an app. But if you're purchasing something, this will. So if we do that, see it opens up create pin at the top. I'm going to put the top one, make it for everything so my kids can't get into something. And your pin number is four digits. It's no no longer no short has to be numbers. It's four digits. So you have to have four digits no matter what. So make up four digits. There. I made it four digits. And then I'm going to verify it. I think that's the same. No, it's not. I love when I make up digits and I forget what I <laughs> just typed in. Here, I'm just making an easy one. Since I'm going to change it after this video anyway. Uh, that's funny. Okay, there you go. I need the fourth digit there, buddy. There, I think I got it right. Nah, I got them right. Okay, so now once you've done that, you can scroll down. So we chose this one at the top. We wanted the one would ask for the pin number whenever something is purchased or and anything's added. So that's perfect. So you got that. Now, that's all you have to do. That's basically it to create the pin. And then you go to the bottom, hit save changes. Before we go there, parental controls for Roku, the Roku channel. Now, this is different. This is, we'll use the pin number. So a pin is not required to play any content. So that's off right now. Now, I can change it for little kids. So anything rated a certain rating, it will ask for a, the pin number. So you can choose one of these. But you don't have to. You can keep this off if you want. But if you have young children, you don't want them watching certain rated stuff on the Roku channel. Now, the Roku channel is not all the apps. So this only affects the Roku channel app. So that's it. So if you have this on, so if they're on the Roku channel, they watch that a lot. This will actually require the pin number if you pick one of these. But it does not affect that I know of any of the other devices. So I'm going to keep mine off. And that's the parental controls they have for the Roku channel. But they can't control the other apps because the apps have their own parental controls. So you have to deal with them. Like YouTube will have its own parental controls. So you have to set it up through there. But down here, you're going to read the note right down here. And then you can learn more about the what this does right here for the parental controls. But once you make the PIN number, 
and choose which level of um, when you need to use the pin number. And then once you're done with that, you go down here, you click on Save Changes, and it's going to say, "Want to save it? No, I don't want it." It will take you back to my account page. Once it actually took signed me out and then signed me back in, I don't know why I did that, but it did. But um, this time, most of the time, 99% of the time, you'll pop back up on my account, and that's it. You're done. Now, if you go back in, you'll see it doesn't show your PIN number like I was talking about. So I already have the PIN number. I'm going to leave it be. So this is complete. So now you know how to go find where the PIN number should have been, but you've realized that now you have to create a PIN. So once you create your PIN, you'll be able to go onto your Roku device, you know, and then when it asks for the PIN number, type the PIN number in and then enter. And now you can download the YouTube app, which I'll link this to the YouTube um, the YouTube how-to I told you about, how the Roku add YouTube to Roku. Also, I'll link that down below so you can see that. And I'll go back and forth on that. So that's it. That's all it is. Very simple. How to get your PIN number back so you can actually load those apps and protect those purchases. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are. And make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.